What about you? No, actually, I have. I have. <laughs> you have? I don't. I'd say it's you don't like, It's like off meta. You know? Kinda would be very. <laughs> kinda would be very mad. Kinda's gonna be like Tyson. You've been peeing in the shower. <laughs> it's like, why is it like stinking here? <laughs> Yo, what up, Sense City? Today I'm joined by Zekin, Tens, and Def, and we'll be doing a little podcast where we get to talk about everything that's been going on lately and some random topics as well. Uh, to start it off, let's talk about this past weekend where you guys turned the F up. Can we curse? <laughs> Who knows? Uh, 100 Thieves game. Uh, you guys really popped off. So let's start off by just talking about... Uh, we can go map by map too, but also just the result, like the way the series went down. Like it was super intense, felt scripted at times. Uh, yeah, what's your thoughts on it, Zekin, like overall? I thought overall we played really good. Yeah. I think obviously, or like it was really obvious to see it was a big improvement from our game at lock-in against Fnatic. Mm -hmm. um, and the practice that we've been putting in the past like month or two since then has really paid off. So I'm really happy with how the game went. Yeah, I feel like uh, the match was like super back and forth. You guys had it on map one. Uh, and then map two, would you guys say you should have converted map two? Because that was like way closer, right? Absolutely. <laughs> right? I don't know. What, ha what happened on map two? Why did you guys not close it out? It was a 12-11 round? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we had a 12-11 round that was a little throwy, I guess. But we played pretty good. It could have been a 2-0 and we'd just like see you later hundred these. But yeah, uh, we took it to third map for the fans, I guess. Yeah. You gotta make it entertaining. You Sentinel's know? fashion. You know how it is. I think it's good for the content for sure. Yeah. Did you guys feel nervous on the stage, like playing, like since it's been a minute, like since lock in, I guess, and it's a different environment? Or is it like you got warmed up fast? How'd you feel, Tyson? Honestly, it wasn't nerve wracking. It was pretty fun. It's fun? Yeah. It's like nice to see like a small little like audience there when yeah. you're playing. It's pretty cool. I think the LCS studio or the well, ride studio that they have set up now is like it's not like the same thing as being in a big ass arena. And it looked like you guys were having fun. I think that was a big part of it. Um, but the 100 Thieves match, uh, yeah, that's a huge win for us. Like, I think momentum is going to start to string together. And uh, hopefully it spirals into something more because we need something. <laughs> we fucking really do need something. Uh, the f Fnatic one uh, left us wanting some more. I was telling people that, and I don't know if you guys would agree, but if you guys had won Fnatic uh, at lock-in, I, I feel like you guys would have been the winners. Like, maybe, who knows, right? Who knows? Know now, now you look back <laughs> at like Fnatic. That's like a movie script. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you look back at like Fnatic's. We watched the tournament and we're like, damn, that's the guys we drew. Uh, yeah. We played against the first game. But yeah, I mean, I don't think we were ready at the time. I don't know about you two, but didn't feel like we were ready yet. But this week showed that, yeah, we came to play. Yeah. Uh, so, Tarek, I heard you were selling some jerseys. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> all right next question <laughs> no i'm sorry i'm sorry i just this just felt like the right answer <laughs> uh, um no yeah we had the sentinels uh booth set up outside the match area uh it was super cool great turnout all the fans uh came out to uh you know meet me and buy jerseys and buy merch uh and that experience is you know just way different than just like streaming at home, getting to meet everyone in person, take pictures with them, shake their hands. Um, I had a great time and I'm hoping that eventually we can get you guys to do it too. Cause I feel like they would go crazy for that. Like having the team or Tyson even just <laughs> like out there, uh, I think will cause like a crazy rally. And, and the vibes there are so cool. They're giving out free boba. By the way, Damn. if you have a ticket, they were like playing music and they're shit. playing music. We were turning up yeah, vibe for every sure. team has like their own booth outside, and mm. like they all do like different shit. Um, but I, our booth was like the most popping. I'm, I'm sorry <laughs> to flex it, but uh, we, we definitely had the most people hanging out by us. So yeah, it's a, it's a good time. I like what Riot put together. How do you like uh, doing the actual watch party like inside the uh, inside the studio? I'm not gonna lie. There's some uh, quirks that are made it a little harder, but. The atmosphere of being there is definitely way cooler um, inside the studio. Uh, there's certain things that could get better for sure. Like, How was the Nate Shot co-cast? The, the Nate Shot, oh my God, yeah, good, good thing to bring up. Nate Shot, uh, he, was, he was dying. He was I, could, like, I could visibly see him dying. I actually <laughs> saw one of his hairs turn gray during the broadcast. I love uh, how into it he is. 
Yeah. He really cares. He's yeah. very invested. Dude, man. at one point you had to calm him down. I know. I saw, no, I, I saw you're like, I it's only like, 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 I, I started feeling bad. I was like, you like, <laughs> I think you hooked him like four or five times. Right <laughs> Dude, I, I know because like I didn't know what to do. It just felt like, man, this guy's really down. Like, I was, and then, and then they started winning and then I was sad. <laughs> and I was like, this motherfucker's going to like kick me while I'm down. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, damn it, dude. Um, but then you guys made the comeback happen and then I went back to hugging him and I'm like, it's okay, man, it's going to be all right. Uh, no, but it was, it was awesome. And, and you guys delivered in terms of the match, the script, the script, the script was nice spot. Chef's kiss yeah. <laughs> next weekend is NRG, right? What are you guys thinking about that? NRG's, uh, they're currently playing Leviathan as we speak. Yep. They lost map one. Uh, concerns there, or I think it's confidence, right, Tyson? You, yeah, you're looking hot too. Everyone was looking hot. Everyone was looking hot. And uh, are, are you concerned for NRG? I mean, I think if we just can keep continuing at the the rate that we're going at right now, and we just play our game, I think we definitely have a solid chance. Yeah, you guys are like locked in too. Like you're not streaming anymore. Like Zach and I don't even see you streaming. Def, I, I definitely haven't seen you stream. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely haven't seen you. So you guys are like fucking, you know, making the push to take this shit there. Dude, Friday before our game, everyone was gone. Like at the end of practice, you could tell everyone was just like, yeah. okay, fuck like, it. We've had an out. intense week. Yeah. yeah so uh, yeah, I, th I think we're working harder than we've ever worked before, really. Doing yeah. long ass days. I think for that match, we're not necessarily worried about like the matchup. We're more worried about like our own progression as a team. So I don't think we mind, or like we're not too worried about going against NRG. We're more worried about like how we're improving and how we're gonna play on that day. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a day to day thing. It's kind of yeah. scary to think about it that way. And then it's like a coin flip. Like Tuesday we might win, but Wednesday might be a loss. I wouldn't like, put it like that. No, I would just say like we're worried more about making these like step by step progressions in practice and. Um, like no matter the result, as long as we're getting better, we're going to be happy. With oh it. yeah. It's like not worried too much about like actually beating them, but more so like playing your game and, you know, continuing to build upon that. Yeah. I feel that also touching on it a little bit, you guys did not incorporate Gecko and neither did hundred thieves actually in that series, if I'm not mistaken. So there's like question marks there. What are your guys' overall thoughts on like Gecko? Like is Gecko viable or is Gecko, you know, whatever. I mean, little bro is cool, but is he that cool? I mean, little bro's all right. I just think that because he's so new, people haven't figured out how to utilize him yet. Yeah. Um, as like recording this, the loud game just happened where they mm -hmm. used him really well, actually. And that was the first time that I've ever seen him like use that good. Right now, like we scream, yeah. we scream like challengers teams and stuff, and they try and use him, but it doesn't look good at all. So mm -hmm. that's why we haven't been like looking at it. But loud just made it look really good, so maybe. We'll so it's it. like one of those things where like other teams are doing it. Maybe we're gonna have to as well. Like loud on split. There's a round where like on heaven they sent little guy. Uh, to plant the bomb, and then Big Bro came out as well and wrapped through. Uh, so there's definitely something there. What, what do you think, Tyson? Do you, do you mess with Gecko? Uh, like I think Gecko, like definitely, Little Bro is situationally pretty good. Yeah. But I mean, only Aren't only time will time only time will tell. Yeah. Aren't you the self-proclaimed Gecko hater? I am the Gecko hater. <laughs> You're the Gecko I'm hater. The, I'm the Gecko hater, Yoru believer. You're that's a believer? Why, that's Where, why. Yeah, Yoru, Yoru, Yoru's like in the trap. By the way, Yoru's kit's insane, just to touch on it super yeah. quick. But no one uses Yoru. He's overtuned. He's, he's overtuned. Yeah. The Radiant but. Yoru's are fucking insane. <laughs> Should we get like a six man Radiant Yoru that just like comes With in every now and then? I I'd quit the team on the spot. <laughs> Wait, because you want to be Yoru? <laughs> no. I just, oh, you just don't want Yoru at all. Yoru. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, but Gecko, I think it's cool to see. Uh, his, his kit is really cool in the sense that like creative. Like being being able to plant the bomb and defuse the bomb and stuff like that, but uh, I'm I'm wondering you know how it develops over time, mm. and uh, new maps coming out uh, or new changes rather binds. Have you, you guys have seen him? I'm sure. Uh, what are you guys' thoughts on those? Like you guys mess with it? That was my probably least favorite map before, because it was hard to like. You always had to end one site just because of the TPs. Like if you t if you went long B and TP'd and tried to go A, the rotate beat you every time. Yeah. So I think this change was like massive for mm. being able to fake B, TPA, and be like more creative. So you I like really the TPs, like the concept of being able to TP. Uh, the TPs are fine, but the position and the TPs were a problem. So yeah. I think they did like some really nice fixes, to be honest. So you're looking forward to it. Yeah. What about you guys? You, you mess with it? I mess with it. I agree with what you said. I think you can get a lot more creative with the strats now. Yep. I think before it was pretty one dimensional where you'd have to like fake a little bit and then just go somewhere. There wasn't that much creativity. You either like go up short and then TP to V. Yeah. Or you like fake B long and go back. But I think with the new TP you can do a lot more. Yeah. 
I think they did a great job actually. Like the changes they've incorporated, even on split, like uh, so actually split changes weren't so crazy, right? To be fair, actually, you I like, think the split changes, like, or t- what, what split changes are you talking about? Um, well, like they made changes on, like they made the corridors a little wider, like in main. They made rope area below uh, A uh, a little different. Like it wasn't huge. You can't jump on the box anymore. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, like it's not so much where it's like I don't know. It didn't really change the dynamic of the map. They made uh, it less defensive heavy yeah but yeah. is it is it really like was it huge i think it was really bad before it felt like nuke in cs where yeah if you're getting like three or four rounds you're kind of happy mm-hmm. but now we're seeing teams get like five six rounds on attack so yeah i think they were like slight changes but definitely needed yeah yeah they're like like from uh outside perspective it's like looks like small changes but it's basically like taking out half like the rafters on nuke like yeah. what Rory said like it's like huge because there's way less you have to clear and there's just way too much like there's not enough util first off to clear everything that was on split before yeah no i think those small changes can go a long way uh but yes yeah, it's, it's gotten more balanced because split used to just be like like you said nuke where you start on ct you're guaranteed like eight rounds which is kind of you know resident to watch like it's just boring yeah um but bind yeah i think uh, touching on binds uh, i think we're just gonna see right everyone from what i've seen like positive feedbacks from most people so uh we we just gotta see the map get played well, what do you guys think is gonna be replaced uh, we talked about this a little bit uh what's the what's the guy on the on the way out i think tyson's had an opinion on it yes all right lotus came in the three-point map that means haven's out yeah, I, th- by, I think that logic. logic makes that. I yeah. think the logic checks out. Do you guys have any other uh, counterpoints? Please take Icebox out of the fucking pool, man. It's <laughs> so bad. Yeah, pros it's, hate Icebox, right? I mean, actually, Ranks community hates it too. The, the, there's no strategy. You yeah, just, Icebox you, is. You go A or you go B, and that's it. But yeah. Icebox makes some bangers for these tournaments, so I'm I'm not sure. Like I think the matches they, have been well. Yeah, like the the Icebox games always are close and they get yeah. kind of crazy. But I think. I agree with Tyson. I think Haven's going. Haven's like an OG map too. But Haven's sick though. That's why I feel like it sucks. But why, Lotus why can't is pretty we have sick two, too. Three bomb site maps. Does well, it like okay, go against their logic? Th- I was just thinking because each map has like the, the, their own unique thing. Like Ascent has like the closing doors. Yep. Lotus has rotating doors plus a three point. Yep. And then what's Icebox have? Fractures got the rope. Icebox yeah. has uh, the, uh, 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 what is it called? The horizontal like zip line. Oh yeah, to true. go across true, the true, site. True, true. I think that's what it is. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah. Uh, I guess the way to look at it could be like uh, Lotus has a different uh, feature in a three bomb site map compared to Haven. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, losing Haven would suck. And I, what about bringing back Breeze? I think Breeze with the Harbor now would be insane. It'd be pretty good. You could run double double uh, controller as well. It would be Viper well. Harbor. Yeah. It would be like the loud meta. Did you like Breeze second? I loved Breeze. You love Breeze? Yeah, that was just okay. I'm glad there's I, someone on board he, with me because everyone okay. hates Breeze and I like Breeze he too. He always popped off on Breeze actually. Yeah. yeah, I understand why you like it too with Jet. It's yeah, like it's a it's, a, it's a kind of an aim map That's for like Jet's playground. Yeah, yeah, like opping is you like see, great. Uh, I I love Breeze for like pro play, but I absolutely hate it for ranks because yeah. it feels like rotate uh, like rotate simulator on the defense side for right. me at least like i'm playing on like one side they go the other side i'm just like oh. and you have to just yeah it's like a long ass yeah. sprint. it's like impossible to take breeze and ranked yeah. like if one dude decided to lurk it like ruined your whole experience oh yeah yeah no the late elbow lurk ruined it yeah um who knows i mean uh the riot you can't really you can you can guess but you never really know what they're gonna do maybe breeze comes back too at some point that'd be cool to see i'm sure they will bring it back with changes yeah um but yeah bind coming back is, is super exciting and uh, moving away from that, uh, what do you guys? What's your guys' uh, stance currently on like ranked and like pro city and all that stuff? Like, uh, I guess the differences between the two mainly. And have you been enjoying pro city? I think you two haven't played that much. I played one game. You played one game. <laughs> I, I haven't played. He him. hasn't played. And Zekin <laughs> plays every night. I play every night. <laughs> so Zekin, I guess you're the best person to ask. Like, have you been enjoying pro city? Uh, and yeah, what are your thoughts on it? I guess let's go from there. Pro City, ever since um, the Brazilian and the Latin teams have come over, I yeah. think Pro City's gotten a lot better, actually. I think, like, if you go back to, like, a month or two months ago, it kind of just felt, like, ranked, except people would calm. Yeah. But I, <laughs> but I think ever since, like, more franchise teams come in, um, the games have gotten, like, a lot more serious. People are trying harder. It's, just, it's a good time. I like yeah. it a lot more than ranked. Yeah. yeah. Ranked is, like, a, you, you, don't, you don't know what you're getting into ranked, right? Ranked like, is a wasteland. Personalities, stream snipers, crypto throwers. There's everything going on. Uh, yeah, the problem with Pro City is like 
we're trying to keep it at a high level. And then it's, it's also hard because we don't want to gatekeep like upcoming talent. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I hope that it's better than ranked. What, what, how's ranked been? Have you guys been playing ranked or not really? I've been playing quite a bit. Yeah, it's better than last season. Yeah, it's, it's a lot better than last season. It's better. <laughs> it, it's better. Okay, so maybe now. it's because we took like the crypto throwers can't do their stuff. The stream snipers don't have streams to snipe yeah, as I think much. That might be it. Actually. So that we're diverting their attention. I can't remember the last time I played a pro in ranked. Really? Honest, yeah. Tyson lost like four in a row last night. I know he's pissed. Oh. Are the BRs, uh, Latam and BR, are they asking to join? Because I see them in rank. Yes. So they're trying to get in? Yes. All, all the franchise would... players are, yeah, okay, nice. definitely in right away. I think they might be a bit shy right now. To like, I uh, remember when in CS, when the Brazilians came over, it took them a while to start playing rank S and stuff. So Yeah. Also, like, I don't know if all of them have like English, but most yeah. of them seem to, like, even if it's not that great, they try to figure Decent, it out, yeah. which is cool. Yeah. If you but, play ranked at night on the West server, it's like entirely pros. I saw that. I saw that. Uh, has it been consistently like that? It's been pretty consistent. Yeah. At least the past so wait, like week or two. I feel like you guys shouldn't leak that though. Sorry. You got competition. You guys, wait, no. Because <laughs> you guys, if you guys leak it now, people are going to start queuing West Coast ranked. If you play East at night, where's the camera? East that Coast one? ranked. If you play East Coast ranked at midnight every night, you'll run into a bunch of pros. So make sure you queue East Coast and East Coast only. There you go. <laughs> no, I, I low key, like now that you guys mentioned it, I feel like people will start doing that. It's possible. Um, Tyson, so what happened in the rank last night? Unthinkable things. <laughs> Were you streaming it? I was streaming it. Oh, is it like what personalities or what? Stream sniping? Just or just madness. I got, I got the whole package, man. You got, you got everything all together. <laughs> all, you got the AIO all in one. I tuned in and he was pissed. Yeah, I was he pretty would, mad. I know he's pissed because he pulls up a Valor plan, extreme, ex, explaining to the stream what he was doing wrong. So I, you, you pulled up a what? A Valor plan. Like, oh, like uh, like kind of breaking down the rounds. Yeah, he was breaking it down. I'm like, this is why you should not just give up A on ascent every round. Oh, you, dude, you're in like the pro mindset, like so hardcore right now yeah. because you haven't been playing that much ranked, right? So it's like you see your teammates like rotating when there's one Sova Dart. Yeah, you're yeah, like, basically. Guys, please. <laughs> like, we, we said Sova Dart B and like two people moved the same second. Like, yo. I know how he feels because like you practice so much that you just expect that level of gameplay when mm. you play like ranked and yeah. then you don't get that level and you're just sad. Yeah, it's I, not even close. Yeah. So do do uh do the players on the leaderboards like what's what's stopping them from like being like let's say you're like top ten on the leaderboard are you comparable to a pro? I mean, Dasnerf is first like if you're not uh, excluding the pro. Yeah, Dasnerf was number one for a little bit, and he's like you know running running meme a little bit. So uh, what's stopping these? Like, what what can they do to get better at that point? I think aim wise. Like in this in this game, there's like a benchmark of like what your aim needs to be at to be a pro, and it's pretty easy to hit that benchmark. So I think aim wise, they're like pretty similar to pro yeah. level, but like game sense and like decision making and discipline, not not even close. Because I'll see. watch, not even like challengers, but like the knights monthly. That's where you see the ranked demons play on teams, mm -hmm. and it's not like the decision making is bad. It's uh, there's a there's a pretty sizable gap between like that and pro play. Yeah, I, I think these guys got to just get more into into competitive like league matches, like apart from ranked, because it's kind of just a solo queue race. Weren't Riot doing something about that? They were oh doing, yeah, like the premier, premier, premier. Yeah, that's exciting. That, that might be, be a good like grassroots to get people. Like Oxy, people kind of slept on Oxy for a while, right? Yeah, yeah, he's it's popping like, off, man. Yeah, yeah, Shazam spoke like super highly of him and yeah. like vouched for him hardcore, and yeah. he's turning up. Him and also Sim. Is another guy from Challengers Sim, that yeah, he's been, Sim's been grinding for a long time, man. Dude, he's, yeah, yeah, he owns in practice sometimes against us too. He was on he was on Phoenix One before even I was on Phoenix One. He's always been playing. He's been playing comp for like like yeah. not even just like since ranked, but like beta. yeah, on teams and yeah, shit. He's been, he's been there. He's been. He's, he's, he's only like 16, 17, right? I think he's eighteen. Oh, he's eighteen now. Yeah, super young though. Yeah, yeah, really good. No, he's he's definitely got the mechanical skill. Uh, and, and, and going on Premiere, yeah, that's, that's kind of dope that you have it in the game. You can just sign up with whoever and have a chance to qualify for challengers. Uh, I think Riot incorporating that it will continue to push this, uh, you know, uh, the storyline of players getting to play pro eventually. Um, moving away from that, what about moving to LA? Like, you guys have been here for, uh, well, Zach can just move in, right? When did you get here? Two weeks ago? Two weeks ago you moved in? Yeah. Like you're weeks. permanently moved in? Um, until I graduate, then I'm going back. Then I'm coming back. Until you graduate? So you're yeah. doing school here? Doing school here. I'm going to go back. So you swap graduate. schools or is it online? Uh, I'm online now. Oh, Same you're school. online. I'm going to go you. back home to graduate, then I'll come back and I'll be here full time. Damn. Well, how are you feeling about that? You're living alone, right? 
Uh, my mom's here for now. Uh, she's gonna go back soon. She, yeah. She wanted to come with me to help me get like acclimated to living alone. Yeah, I think that would totally make sense to like yeah. set you up and stuff like that. But the idea of like living alone and uh, you know being out on your own is kind of like a it's a journey for sure. He's a different beast in person. Like we always said to like Don and us would get together like oh we can't wait until we get Zach out because he just turns into like a different player when he's around other uh, other people. So he popped. You popped off this weekend, man. I'm so happy to see yeah. that. Yeah. Just being able to focus on the game is so nice. Fuck the doubters. Pra yeah. Practicing in person is cool too. I get to fist bump Rory like 50 times a day. Dude, oh, yeah, just sitting right next to each other. There was a raise round where he just like came up with something in the moment and I could tell like he was just fucking feeling it at the time. Yeah. And that's something we pushed in practice and I can tell like he was just kind of in the flow right there. So yeah, it's nice to have him here finally. Yeah, no, Dynamic has, has been awesome to see uh, with you guys all hanging out here. Um, so let's ask a little bit more of a random question. Where does your alias come from, Zekin? There's a show called Sword Art Online. There was a character named Zekin in it that I thought was cool. Um, I forgot what the character did, if I'm honest. <laughs> What's the name of the show? The show was called Sword Art Online. Sword Art Online, you guys know that show? I think I've heard of that one. I thought that was a game. Isn't it a game? Yeah, is it a game I, or I a show? I feel like I get ads for that. It's still. a show. Sword I know Art. it's a show. Maybe they have a show and a game, who knows? They might. But there's a character named Zekin? There's a character named Zekin. I thought their name was cool. Um, I f the character did something cool that I liked, but I forgot what it was. How old were you? I was like 13. 13? Yeah. And I, s I stole, I stole the name. Hell yeah. What was your name before Zekin? My original first name was Z star five. Z star five. Wait, that guy was kind of hard. That is. I kind of fuck with Z star five. But yeah. That was my first name. That was when you were like eight or what? I was like eight playing like Minecraft <laughs> with that name. Z star five, just tearing yeah. it up. Yeah. Oh yeah. But then what I switched from that. Yeah. What about you, Tyson? My my username derived from Xbox, and okay. a lot of people did like capital letters everywhere and stuff. Mm -hmm. XXX10 zombie. Yeah, no, oh, the XXX that, was, so that was the second iteration. Z, 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 this, Z, Z, is a, this is a three iteration yeah. thing. So the first the first iteration was it was Z Z Z Z Z zombie Z Z Z Z Z. Yeah, that's classic. And like the Z's are like kind of like like lowercase uppercase. Lower, upper, yeah, yeah. yeah, so it's like that. Um, because I liked playing zombie games when I was younger on Xbox. Like I put like. Call of Duty. I think I've run into like ten, like ten or fifteen ZZZ zombies. Yeah, like, <laughs> so, <laughs> probably. <laughs> and then that later turned. I was like, I was like, you know what? This is kind of too hard. So I ended up saying ten Z zombie because there's ten Zs technically. Ten Zs. Z's. So Canadian ten Z zombie. Okay. So that was like literal. And then I was like, I was looking at it one day. I'm like, I think I was like fifteen or sixteen. I'm like, this looks kind of. Once stupid. you got older, you started, yeah, I like you matured. Slowly started stripping the name yeah, as time passed. Yeah, I matured, and so like one day I'm like, I looked at it. I'm like, this looks fucking stupid. <laughs> 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 and then I'm like, you know what? I just took four letters and I cut the rest out. Right. Okay. And what about the capitalization? Has it always been that way? Um. Yes. Yes, it has. Okay. So the T and the Z, right? Yeah, because it used to be it used to be ten Z zombie and like. The T was capital, the Z was capital, and the other Z was capital. Got you. I, I joke about it, but like Net's name is N E capital T. Mm -hmm. And then I said if you put a capital Z in front, it's tens backwards. Z net in the house. I don't know. Maybe he's pot potentially setting that up for the future. Uh, <laughs> what about you, Def? What's your uh, origin? You know what? I hate this question. Oh, why? Just because I don't really have a good story. I put it in a name generator. You put a name generator? No <laughs> yeah. Really? And I just kept it. How old were you? I was, it was CS, so I was like, dude, I can't even give the excuse that I was like 15 years old. I You're was, like 15? You probably, I, I was like, like no, RNG? I was like 23 at the time. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I just couldn't think of a name. I had some like... The you wanted it to be cold, but I like... Play, I played like League and MMOs, so I was like... I had the what was your name in League and MMOs? In leagues, it was like Rory tells a story or something. Rory like tells that. a story. <laughs> Wait, that's like a. That's like that's kind of cool actually. Yeah, and one was like nerds only. It was really cringe. Nerds only. That was like a yeah. That was when I was actually sixteen. So I can, <laughs> I can. I actually had another username before. What was that? My dad made it for me before I picked my own name. Yeah. And it was Little Ty zero zero one. Little Ty zero zero one. That's kind of cute. Yeah. yeah. I should have kept that 05, one. Little Ty zero zero one. Hanging out in the craft. The god duo on Radiant. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Lil Ty. I like that. Yeah. The Brazilians now call him Lil Angel. Like Little Angel? Yeah, they do call him Lil Angel. <laughs> How did that come to be? I don't know. It's, 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 it's what comes to their mind. Yeah, just, I remember when I first heard it, It was a, we were doing VOD review at the end of the day, and there was a round where Tyson overheated, and Saucy like paused it, 
And he's no, like, no, no, no. Tyson, my little angel, it's okay. You can just come back. <laughs> 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 that's hilarious. He's been saying it ever since. Yeah, that's a good one. All right. It's midnight. You're hungry. You go to the gas station and you want a snack. What are you getting? You getting? It's hard, man. Dude, I have a controversial a answer. You have a controversial yeah. answer? What, what does that mean? The, <laughs> pe people who haven't tried it think it's gross, but okay. I gave it to my friends and they loved it. It's these um, these pretzel bites, and it's um, is it peanut butter inside. No, no, no. Oh, okay. It's honey mustard and onion pretzel bites. Honey mustard. And they, I swear to God, they will change your life. Right? That sounds crap. Has no, anyone here had that? Okay, Do you like one. Them? Exactly. They fucking they rip. Fucking rip. Dude, no, they. It's, listen, <laughs> they I'm telling rip. you. I'm telling you. I I um, went to the gas station with my friends, and I was like, look, look, "Take this. It sounds disgusting. Try it." And it changed their life. It, it, we gotta get those. You gotta get those. Yeah, because we. Have, wait, I like your answer though, because it's so unique. No one has any idea, so we can't even knock on it, because like we haven't had it. Honey mustard and what you said? It's honey mustard and onion. Mm. It's pretzel bites. They're so good. Okay. What kind of what, what kind of gas station are we talking about? Are we yeah. talking like bookies? Are we talking like 7-Eleven? What the fuck's a Bucky's? <laughs> what? Well, let's go 7-Eleven. I don't know what the, the Bucky's is either. I'm what? Like, what? Is that a he thing? has to go to Bucky's. That I've has never, to be a is that like Wawa? Are you talking about Wawa? Is, right. Wawa is incredible. <laughs> what the fuck is Bucky's? a Wawa? <laughs> what about, what about Sheets? Isn't that the sponsor? That's a gas station as well for night? Isn't Sheets Dude, a thing? Bucky's like changed my life. I, don't, I, I didn't know about Sheets. I knew Wawa. I don't know what the fuck a Bucky's is either. It's like the beaver. It's like a beaver. Okay. Dude, you're me. making the case worse for yourself. Dude, dude, Do you dude, know it's so no. good. It's so good. We should just act like we like, we fuck with Bucky's. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right, let's say it was a Bucky's. Let's say we're going to Bucky's. There'll be Bucky's. people defending Bucky's in the comments, I promise. That Are you getting beef be. jerky from Bucky's? What would you get from Bucky's? Oh, shit. Bucky's slaps. Like, they do <laughs> hot sandwiches. Oh, they do sandwiches. They have like a wall of jerky. Oh, so it's just Wawa? It's like Wawa on crack. Okay. He knows Wawa too, Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a gas station that you, it's like a it's like a super fancy gas station yeah, basically okay. mm. that has like they they actually have like hot made meals and stuff like yeah, that yeah, yeah. it's mainly for truckers that like stop by and like they right. basically and stock up um and then sometimes they can um but wait what, what did you say your answer was so we got his is, i think is like i like sweet stuff so it'd be like reese's pieces yeah cups, sour belts and a slushy oh not a good, not a bad order. Yeah. Okay, I like that. Tyson, Room what about you? What's your go-to snack that you get? Dude, I actually don't even have a go-to snack. I kind of close my eyes and just like let my body decide. <laughs> like, like my, I will just, moment. I will just like autopilot. Like I'll go into a gas station, I'll autopilot. I'll just start grabbing stuff. So sometimes like I'll just grab a bunch of sweet stuff, or I might grab like random stuff. Sometimes like I don't even know what I grab. So it's kind of like in the moment, like whatever it's you're in feeling. The it could be like chips, chocolate. Yeah. yeah. It could be vines. Yeah, it could I be could eat like M &Ms. everything. Okay. I think I, I would go with like M&M's and like uh, hot, hot uh, Cheetos and... Uh, do you like Takis? Takis are great. Oh yeah, Takis hit. Takis do hit. Yeah, Takis hit hard. You yes, guys, I'm like, actually, I'm barred from eating M&M's right now. Wait, why is well, that? Um, so Kaide and I went to Costco okay. and they have like, you know, Costco has, always has like family packs or like like value bulk. packs. Yeah, They're yeah. Like really big, right? Yeah. So we bought you, this. You finished the whole <laughs> fucking thing in one night. <laughs> One sitting. One sitting. Uh, we bought the M&M like value pack. It's like this big. Yeah. I'm sitting there just grabbing handful of M&Ms <laughs> and just eating. And then Kaide's like, you ate the whole thing. I'm like, oh my All God. Right. You didn't even notice. No, either. I didn't even notice. Like, I was just doing it. Dude, I would throw up. What the fuck? Yeah. He eats a crazy amount. Yeah, like, yeah well, he, he was telling me he had three dinners yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did have three. Hey, he's putting in the disco like, I'm going to shit my brains out. <laughs> For the, for the talkie lovers, would you guys put that on sandwiches? I haven't no. tried it, but I would. Dude, that sounds I would, good. It's so good. That sounds, yeah, it sounds amazing. It's really yeah. good. Okay, Ta well, I got, I got one on my mind. Or like a burger? You can do both, honestly. I do them on like sub sandwiches and it adds like a kick have you ever to done it and the, some crunch. Have you ever done the food hack where you get like the french fries and you put them like underneath the burger bun? No. It's kind of good. Have you ever put... It's uh, pretty good. good. It's pretty good. That sounds pretty good. Have you put chicken nuggets inside your burger? Like your McDonald's burger? I have not. No? Dude, if you did that with like the Wendy's spicy nuggets, those would be crazy. Yeah. Apparently Wendy's spicy nuggets are mad good. Oh my God, we're getting off topic. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that question was too good. I, was gonna, I, was gonna, <laughs> I have another one though too. You know, on a microwave, when you say you're doing something oh for two gosh. minutes. You're wrong. Right? Get it, get them out are you, you are clicking wrong. it for no. 30 seconds, four times? Or you are you typing in two Dude, minutes and stuff? I type my if, time. If you hit the number two, it See? does it for you. 
Yeah, normally if you hit five, we'll just do five minutes. I think there's two types of people. No, it's just you. Uh, no, you, I think I think you could be right. You just thirty seconds, just, thirty seconds. You just spam it. Four yeah. times. I can see, but I like to put it like sometimes it's like one twenty. It's like then it's like one fifteen. <laughs> yeah, you know what he does? He does the thirty seconds and he takes it out with like ten seconds left. Oh, he waits there. Yeah, yeah, he literally sits there. Oh, like, so that's the difference. I put it, I leave. I know, I know it was one fifteen. <laughs> you have to, you have, you have to pull it out five well, sometimes seconds. Sometimes you gotta. I used to have these burritos that I make at home. I put in a minute, take it out at like. Five seconds left because fifty five was like the sweet spot. Oh yeah, there you go. Too. So like, you're watching it. You're like you're watching. <laughs> yeah, I'm watching it spin around. I'm like, this is gonna be good. <laughs> Were you like told not to watch like the microwave as a kid? No, uh, I got told to never look in the microwave. What? Why? No, I don't like, know. St- like the radiation of staying too close. I don't to know. It, maybe? I just remember being told not to stare at a microwave when it's on. Haven't had that. UK. <laughs> 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 You got a thing in UK. So like, UK. You guys got a different tradition. Yeah, I'm over fine. There? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, back in back yeah, in Nottingham. He's right. like in the UK actually. <laughs> back in Nottingham. You have to leave the room and close the lights. Uh, actually, I had a when I went to college. There was a girl that used to put the dumbest shit into microwaves. Like she'd do aluminium foil in the no. microwave. No, she'd do once. like plastic, and she was like grade A student, just completely dumb. But like, like she knew. She, no, you tell her, don't put these things in there, and she'd go and do it anyway. Maybe she's the boss bitch. <laughs> she, <laughs> she's cooler than you. That's what that's She was what like happened. grade A, a pianist, like really smart math major. And she's then, a multimillionaire like, now. Like, fucking and then she was like, oh, I'm just going to put this in here for you. Maybe it's, yeah. I don't I've, know. I've done it once. Oh. A, on, a, a that's mistake. how you learn, though. A mistake. Yeah, I learned because it, it instantly caught on fire. There you go. <laughs> like, I don't think they're supposed to catch yeah. <laughs> Something happened. <laughs> okay, do you guys pee in the shower? Yeah, yeah. No. It's optimal. It's not it is optimal. I brush my teeth while Shut I pee the in the shower up. sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I'm pissing and I'm on my phone in the shower. I mean, I have subway dude, surfers. I, I, can't, right. dude, I can't imagine a world where you don't just pee and then get into the fucking shower. I do, but sometimes when I when I hear the water fall above my head, I feel wa- that too. then it's like, oh. It makes me want to pee. Yeah. You guys are crazy. You never Actually, tested your stream, bro, in the shower? When I was like five. <laughs> Like, no, yeah. actually, I have. I have. You have? I don't. I don't it's it's you not don't like actively? it's like off meta. You kind know? of would be Shut very mad. <laughs> kind of would be very mad. Kind of would be like Tyson. You've been peeing in the shower. <laughs> it's like, why is it like stinking here? <laughs> yeah. So sometimes what I do is I'll finish shower and then I'll take a shit in there and then I'll. Start. <laughs> okay, come on. Just, okay, now you're pushing it. <laughs> the worst is when you take a shit and then get in the shower and it's just like steamy shit. <laughs> okay, God, <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> And yeah. then you have to like oh, pause you, your you shower after the shower. <laughs> so you, you go from like you go from unclean to clean, and then you go back to unclean. Yeah, no, that's pretty bad. Do you guys brush your teeth in the shower? <laughs> no, that's no? Gross, well, man. Do you use the shower water to like? Uh, yeah, literally. Oh no, I don't. I brush my teeth before or after. I mean, I might try I, it. I, you guys ever brush your teeth in the shower? Never. It's so optimal. Yeah. I wash my face. I, I, I don't always do it, but I do. Like, I have an extra, I have a toothbrush in my shower and a toothbrush on my sink. Someone's weird. I don't know who's weird. Someone's weird here. I'm just thinking, One like, I, you, you're at least putting your toothbrush, like, back near the sink, right? You're not leaving it. No, no, it's shower. separate toothbrushes. And it's oh, just okay. like, and it's like, uh, you know, on the hanger. It's like, oh, okay. Yeah. So, so it's, it's away from, the like, trifecta going on. You're, like, peeing, brushing, and showering all of the time. I have. I have peed, <laughs> brushed, and showered at the same time <laughs> while conditioner's in my hair. <laughs> you pee in and you, like, wet the brush. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, there's, does anyone not here, like, uh, brush their teeth in the shower? Sand City, do you guys pee no? on your toothbrush you, in the shower? You do or you have? I don't do it all the time, but I, I do it. <laughs> yeah, it's like you're in a hurry. You're brushing your teeth Dude, in the shower. Dude, that's, that's not that's optimal. optimal for that's sure. gross. All right, Sun City. Appreciate you guys watching. NRG match is coming up soon, so hopefully you guys tune in there as well. Go follow Zekin on Twitter, and we'll see you next time. Got you. Thank you, man. You needed that. <laughs>